Hello, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Happy first day of the vlog. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's about 11.15. I, let's do a little self-care vlog. That's what I think that we should do. In 2024, I'm working on really like my skincare. I just want it, I want my skin to be its best. That's not what we're doing today. <laughs> um, but I, I need to get these red nails off, okay? I've had them. This one's chipped and this one's chipped. But honestly, like they've lasted a good while. I vlogged it when my mom and I went last and I want to say it was like a week or two before Christmas. Today is January 3rd, I think. So it's been, it's been a minute. So I kind of want to get like a deep purple, almost black. And I want short nails. I don't, I know these aren't long to some people, but to me they are. And I'm over it. Fingers crossed the nail salon is not crazy busy. It's raining and it's cold and it's a weekday. And I'm hoping that everyone just wants to stay home because it's nasty outside. So let's do this. We're back at this place. It is a little bit pricey. I've talked about before, but listen, it lasts and that's what matters. They do a great job and it lasts. So oh, let me get my water. I wore sandals because I want to get a pedicure too. And it's freezing. So it's raining. I should have put on a rain jacket. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go with this one, 368. It's kind of like a deep purple black, but we like that one. This is Revel is the brand. So we're gonna do gel on the toes and dip with the gel color over the top for the nails. They did my pedicure and nails at the same time, so I didn't get to film and show you anything, but here's the final look. She, they're thick, okay? And I should have known better because it's a dark color, so they had to do so many coats of the gel but it's really pretty. It's exactly what I wanted, like a deep purple. Let me put some hand sanitizer on. I know that like you're supposed to let the cuticle oil sit. I get that's the point. I don't like that feeling on my hands. Um, pedicure looks the exact same. The girl that works the front desk here seems like maybe sh she's having a bad day every time I'm in here. And she's always so confused when I want the SNS, the dip powder, which it's just like a base color. I did get a little bit of a video of the base color, so I'll insert it here. But I want that with the gel color over the top because it matches exactly to the gel color on my toes. They do, I think I've explained this before, they do make an SNS or like a dip powder in the same color as the gel color that I got, but because the formula is different, they don't end up being the exact same color, and I want them to be the exact same. So, and she's always, so like, why are you doing that? I'm like, ma'am, just, just let me live my life, okay? I'm paying extra for it, you know what I mean? Uh, Brian just texted me and asked me if I was home, so I need to call him and see what's going on before we continue on. I even brought me a little snack, but I guess if I'm going home, I don't know, I need to call him. Hello again, it is so much later. It's almost three o'clock. The last time I saw you, I was sitting at the nail salon. I went and filmed the video, I grabbed lunch, I had to run home for something. Now we are continuing on our self, con that was a mouthful, continuing on our self-care day. Just doing fun things that I wanna do. I uh, wanna go to Ulta and then maybe Sephora. I am low on so many products and instead of just reordering, like I like those products, don't get me wrong, but instead of just reordering those products, I kind of want to just go peruse. And if I end up buying the same ones, I do. But I've really been liking cream products lately. I've, I did, well, I did solely cream products today besides eyeshadow. I did like powder eyeshadow, but everything else is a cream product. And I'm really liking it. I feel like it's, it's very natural. So, I just want to peruse. I do want to buy some of that Grande Lash Serum. I used it on and off for years and loved it. And they sell it at the spa, like the med spa that I go to. They were just out of stock when I was there the other day. So, they recommend it. So, I want to buy some of that and just, I don't know, just like panter, panter around. I don't know if that's the right word, but we're finally going. It, it took me a while to get here, but... We're going. Fun fact, I've already been in the Ulta parking lot once today and I was gonna go in and do what I wanted to do and then I needed to run home really quick. We're definitely grabbing a basket. I was here the other day. I don't know if I brought y'all and I bought mascara. 
So we're good on that, I think. We may not be, we may buy more. What I like about Ulta over Sephora is that they do like higher end brands, but also drugstore brands. Sephora doesn't do drugstore brands. How do we feel about these Fenty skin sticks? Match sticks, glow skin stick, shimmer skin stick. Could I use this as like a shimmer highlight? That's a pretty color. They also have this one, Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter. I like that. This one I'm tempted to get instead because it seems just easier to put on. But let's open one of these. Yeah, this is that kind of applicator. I don't know, we may grab one of these instead. I want Scream, but they don't have it in stock. They do have confetti. Is that too bright? And then they have pearl. Maybe we'll grab that one. It's meant to be bright, right? It is a highlight. I'm like down here on the ground, <laughs> lean down. <laughs> Um, okay, maybe we'll grab the pearl, pearl color in this. Oh, look, cream bronzer. While I'm like down here on the ground, cream blush. I don't really need blush. I have a ton of like rare beauty blushes, but I could always use like a cream. Somebody got into those. I could always use like a cream bronzer. I don't know about these. I think we're going to keep looking for bronzer. MAC products, multi-use concealer pen. Okay. I kind of need a concealer, but I like the Radiant. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape, but the Radiant version. Let's see, this is powder, matte foundation, highlight, all this is powder products, besides the concealer and stuff. So, okay, we're gonna move on from MAC. Ooh, what's this? Pure? I forget about them. Ooh, see, I get sucked in. Illuminating setting spray. I have so many setting sprays, that is not something I need. Hydro Glow Daily. That's a mineral sunblock. I have one that I love enough. It's the Summer Fridays. More MAC options over here on the other side. Cream eyeshadow. Okay, we could use some cream eyeshadow. Art Therapeachy. That is cute. So it's just a single use like pot. I mean, which is I guess what I expected. Princess Cut. I think we might just stick with powder shadow. They have a bunch of these kits. What is it? Show, oh, Snow Trance Eye Kit. So it looks like it's a gel pencil eyeliner, a mascara, and eyeshadow. Stila is fun too because they have all of these like liquid eye shimmer things, but then also these are matte. If you didn't want shimmer. Blush and bronzer in a stick. How fun is that? And it's clear, like the little caps on them are clear so you can see the color that you're getting. Does everyone still love this? The Laura Mercier setting powder. Flawless on the fly, 29 and under. It was the translucent one, right? I almost bought this the other day just to try it. Translucent loose setting powder. Let's buy a small one to try. I love this foundation for a dewy look. I just, the ones I have are too dark. I think I have light. Yeah, I think I have light. Maybe I need fair light. I don't know, I'm pale y'all when I'm not, <laughs> I don't have any sun on me. Like I probably need fair ivory or even fair porcelain and it looks like those are out. This catches my eye every time I come in. Like how cute is this packaging? Hello. Made with only five ingredients, vegan foundation delivers buildable sheer to full coverage with naturally luminous finish. But I think it's powder. Original loose mineral foundation, SPF 15 deluxe size. Oh, and then they got little ones. Like, look how cute the package is. Glow Giver Blush and Bronze Duo. And I think these are powder. Yeah, powder. And then what is this? Tiny Treasures four-piece makeup set. That's cute. And then they got these little, these are great gifts. Well, let's go ahead and grab some of this. They sell the brow stuff too. I tried it, didn't love it. So we're gonna stick with the six, yeah, six week supply of the Lash Enhancing Serum. Lash and Brow Besties, like a little kit. But again, I don't really need the brow serum, so. Let's grab a couple of the lash sets. This is the concealer I like, the Radiant version. The one I have is super pale. So it looks like this is probably the only other medium sand, actually. Might be my color. Ooh, liquid brightener or corrector. What's the difference? Is this not shape tape glow wand? That's what I'm trying to do with my life. Yes, okay, let's put this back. And let's get us, what shade do we need? Sunbeam? That seems a little bit light. Dream Glow Wand. And then what is this? Oh, just Shape Tape Concealer, Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. Can you even see that? <laughs> That's a glow. This one, I thought it was a dream. 
but this is a glow maybe in the see it's a little bit dark a glow and then dream so i might need a light or sunbeam let's test the sunbeam okay this is sunbeam let's see how this one looks because it's just meant to be like a uh, that's way too light way too light i found one in a light i, I can't test it because they don't have one but sunbeam was too light dream was too dark a glow no a, a glow was a little bit dark so let's get a light y'all tried the ultra creamy they're out of stock in a lot of it light medium sand like i said i like the radiant up there but they didn't have the color shape tape creamy ultra creamy let's try that oh here's a ton more you can try like a try me ultra creamy let's do that instead what did i say Here's a light neutral. I have like a sand one. Wait a minute, okay. <laughs> Look how small that is. That's $14 for that tiny amount. Doesn't that seem a little pricey? Big size is $31. Born This Way Healthy Glow Skin Tint Foundation. Do we like this? I like the package. We're gonna pass on that. I can't find a shade I think would work for me. However, this brand, what do I have? I have a couple of these love them but again they're a little bit too dark for me right now i guess i could always just put on a fake tan but i have like a vibrant like a radiant something from them that i love this is what the packaging looks like of that laura mercier is that what it is no oh, estee lauder that i was just talking about but clinique has one well they don't have a ton of shades let's see what this one is cn40 hmm it's this one that they have in stock um i'm way over here all right so let's keep it moving maybelline has these crease resistant color like shadow sticks i have one similar that i bought it's been a while but i got it from thrive like i, I got sucked into one of their commercials or ads or whatever um and i do like the color this looks cool i'm a sucker for packaging clearly we know that by now that is so pretty it's from l'oreal panorama mascara corner to corner panoramic volume. I've learned, I just bought a new Better Than Sex Waterproof. The waterproof mascara is the only kind that will actually hold my lashes, like hold the curl throughout the day. I wonder if they have this in waterproof. Um, I don't see it. This is my favorite mascara by far. This kind here. I might grab it in waterproof because I got, I, I was on a kick where I didn't want to do waterproof so I threw them all away. I know, I shouldn't have done that, but I'm gonna grab that. Hello, um, ColourPop has Shadow 6-2. They sell this Party Proof Eye Primer. Everything at ColourPop is so fun. I just haven't worn it in years because I got eczema on my eyelids and I had just used a palette, um, like eyeshadows from them. Are the two related? Probably not, but I haven't used anything from them on my eyes for sure since. This is my favorite bronzer of life, okay? It's just a powder bronzer. But look, a liquid bronzer, butter glow liquid bronzer. What is this? Matte, oh, so it's a matte bronzer. This one does have some shimmer in it. Butter pressed powder. Do we try this? I really do, like this is my favorite. Like surely this could be good too. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. Why is it not focusing? How embarrassing. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I saw this a while back online and wanted to get it, but it's a powder blush, but that's okay, right? How fun is that strawberry jam butter blush? But check out, she put a bunch of sample stuff in there. She didn't tell me anything about what was going in the bag, but let's see, we have Good Molecules B5 Hydrating Body Serum. We have three of them. Oh, yeah, they're all the same. I love Good Molecules, so that'll be nice. And then a couple of these, La Roche-Posay Soothing Therapeutic Multipurpose Cream, Skin Protected. Sika, Sika Plast, Balm 5. Shea Butter, Vitamin B, and listen, I'm not even gonna try to say the word. Temporarily protects and helps relieve chaffed, chaffed, <laughs> chafed, chapped or cracked skin. It helps diaper rash, protects, I can't say chafed. <laughs> you wanna say chaffed. Uh, due to diaper rash and helps seal out the wetness. All right, Sephora is literally right there. I have a gift card. That's probably the only reason we're going because of them. I just spent a bunch of money. But I didn't get a cream bronzer, right? No, no cream bronzer. Oh, I did. I got a setting powder too. But I used the, most of the gift card for that Refi primer. Um, but there's like five bucks left on it. So while I'm out and about, it's 3.30 now. I need to be home around four. 
to pull out the soup for supper. So let's quickly go into Sephora. It's inside Kohl's. A quick in and out, y'all. Don't let me just lollygag, okay? Straight to Sephora and straight out. I wanted this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's a powder bronzer, but look how cute the package is. Everybody talks about how good it is. I have this setting powder. Actually, I've used it all. I really like it. Do we just go out on a limb and get the powder one anyways? What did I just say? I said that's not what I'm here to do. <gasps> Wait a minute. Sun Kiss, Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. That's a cream product. Oh, but they have none whatsoever. Okay. Oh, I'm like, I'm literally on the ground again. I might get this one, y'all. They don't have this one in my color either. All they have available is deep and then this fair light color. I have the Tarte version of this kind of bronzer and love it. It's incredible. Makeup by Mario Sculpt Bronzer. That's like a powder cream. Let's see if they have medium. Light, medium, dark are the colors that they have. Bronze. That's all it says is bronze. What shade is that? Soft glow. Oh, that's a highlighter. Okay, okay. I see medium dark. Oh, that's a highlighter too. NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. Everybody talks about this one. Very deep. And then these are deep and medium. I probably need deep. Watch them not even have it. Laguna Bronzing Powder. Oh, that don't feel... It does feel like a powder. Okay, okay. Nothing at Sephora, and that's okay. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for, I guess. I need to go home and look at what I just got from Ulta, see what I have, and then maybe go from there. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Oh, I have a vlog I need to put up today. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to find the sun. I, I don't think it's gonna happen or find myself not in the sun. Um, all right, so I am headed to my microneedling appointment. I don't think I even told y'all yesterday when we did nails and a little bit of shopping, um, but I scheduled one for today at 9 a.m. with Sarah over in Daphne. I will only ever see Sarah. I trust her. I say that every single time. She, her bedside manner is incredible. She talks me through everything. She understands my skin now at this point. A couple of days ago, which I think Candace's vlog will be up by the time that you're watching this. A couple of days ago, we went to um, a consultation for Disport, Disp Disport, that's how you say it. Disport, which is um, a toxin, kind of like Botox. It is kind of like Botox and filler or Botox, whatever. It was just like a consultation. I had an appointment and Candace had one directly after me just to have a conversation about that and skincare and all the things. I opted out of doing any type of injections just because I'm a little bit nervous, okay? But also, Sarah said that she wouldn't recommend it. If she were me, she probably wouldn't do it. Instead, we're on a good regimen of skincare treatments, skincare products, that sort of thing. So today is one of those appointments. Um, Candace did get filler in her under eyes and they look incredible. Um, she, Sarah let me film it for her. Obviously you watched it in Candace's vlog, but I'm just saying like It was crazy and she's been sending me like pictures and stuff to show the updates and they just look so good um, So I'm very happy for her and I will say that I find myself Sometimes you know, since like, especially with this job and I'm just getting a coffee from Yellowhammer. I'm getting myself a little treat and then I may stop and get um, a breakfast sandwich or something. They don't sell food at this Yellowhammer yet. They might, but they don't sell food yet. Um, okay, I'm getting a little bit off track. I will say that being a little bit older for this industry as an influencer um, and seeing people, you know, a lot younger than me all day long. And then people my age or even older that have just this like glass, incredible skin. Like I have to remember that Botox and filler is a thing because I sort of let it get to me sometimes. Like seeing these people that just look flawless all the time. Like, like I said, glass skin, like bright, glowy skin, no fine lines, no wrinkles, no under eye, like puffiness bags, anything. And it, it's a little bit, I don't know. It's a little bit, it's crazy, okay, to be in this job and see that and think, wow, like that person's 10 years older than me and they look 10 years younger than me or whatever. Um, so that's what the appointment was for, just a, hey, let's get on a good regimen of 
what can we do to kind of help me get to where I want to be realistically? You know, I'm not going to look 10 years younger, but just a realistic kind of thing. So, you know, it's just crazy to be in this job and see, you know, people you thought were the same age as you and turns out they're a lot older, but they've just had really great you know, injections and skincare and they wear their sunblock, you know, all the things. I've kind of put myself a little bit too since making the appointment. A little bit, I said to Sarah, the words I used was, I'm being a little bit nitpicky because really the things like didn't really bother me that much until recently. And then especially now seeing Candace, um, like her under eyes just look so good. And so I find myself being like, well, do I need to do that? Because hers just looks so good. She doesn't look 10 years younger, but she looks so well-rested and just, I don't know. So I'm being a little bit nitpicky. The things I mentioned to Sarah that I wanted to work on, number one is my skin, um, like unevenness. I have a lot of sunspots. We talk about it all the time. I have a little bit of redness. I don't really have a ton of texture, luckily, on my face. Hold on, I think, I think I'm gonna take, I think, hold on. But anyway, I don't really have anything else to say besides, I'm being a little bit nitpicky. Oh, no, 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 we were talking about what I told her. Okay, uneven skin tone, number one. Like that glass looking skin, I want it. So that was the first thing, and those that can be helped with um, like facials, peels, skincare, wearing sunblock, those sorts of things. I did mention these like little puffy bits under my eyes here. So I bought a cream. Um, that she said will help like all these things she said I can achieve without going the injection route and then these like little crow's feet I'm a happy person you know what I mean I smile a lot so these crow's feet here um, microneedling and stuff will help that so we're gonna go that route and I will try not to be so nitpicky and so hard on myself because I'm just aging. Everybody does it and I say a lot of times that not everybody gets to get old you know like luckily I get to be 37 and not everybody does. So that's it. Ordered my coffee. I'll probably stop. I gotta find somewhere along the way and stop and get a sandwich maybe or some hash browns or something. I'm just nervous. And when I get nervous, I just need something in my stomach, not liquidy. Like the coffee is just the perk. But oh, I was gonna say too, I added on a peel. I've just been talking for so long. Oh my gosh. I am doing my regular micro needling. So it's micro needling plus an infusion plus a peel, but it's a very light peel. Like you don't, your skin doesn't peel later or get flaky or anything like that. But we added on something called a, <clears throat> excuse me, a TCA peel. I did not Google it on purpose because I don't want to chicken out, but Sarah recommended it. So we added that on for this time. It is extra. Brian bought me for Christmas a they were doing some kind of package deal at the med spot. It was a buy one, get one free micro, micro needling. And he bought me that for Christmas. So that's what I'm using for that. But I did add on the extra TCA peel. I'm nervous. Oh God. Okay. We've made it. Oh my gosh. Do not look at how dirty my car is. I was just looking at myself <laughs> in this mirror. Um, but we're over in Daphne. This is the building. They made their own little side entrance recently. And it is the cutest. I'll, if I'll see if I can show you some of the inside. They called me right back, so I didn't get to show you any of the, like, the little lobby. I have numbing cream on my face, on my neck. She set me up a little table here so I could drink my coffee and play on my phone. <laughs> like, how nice. I'll show you the room, though. We got a little machine over there, a little waiting area, cute little art, and then all the stuff over here. This chair is also very nice. Like, it's automated, and it just, like, laid me back. So, here we go. <sighs> I always get so nervous. Oh, my lips are already numb. That's why I was worried if I could drink my drink or not. We're good. We're good. This is the after. I'm still numb. We did a little bit of a peel. I hope you can hear me. The bathroom, so cute. The lobby area, adorable. Okay, here we are in the car. I tried to show y'all the lobby. I gotta be like inconspicuous. Inconspicuous, incognito, because you know. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'm going home to do my little post care kit. TCA peel was not bad at all. It's not an Ola all over peel. It's just like a spot peel. So she did crow's feet and then a few of the wrinkles that I have on my forehead. 
let it sit for two minutes and then wiped it off. I'm going home. My breakfast sandwich I got from Burger King today was nasty. It was, listen, I can usually eat things even if they're not incredible. If I'm hungry, I couldn't even eat it. And that says a lot for me. I get so nervous in there. It's wild because I've done this before. This is what my fourth or fifth time doing micro needling, but I always get so dang nervous. <sighs> Trying to stay out of the sunshine. <laughs> Were you started a vlog too? Yeah, wait. Oh, hello. Good morning. Today is Monday. Candace is sitting next to me. Uh, we are continuing our self care vlog today. Candace has booked those massages. How nice of her! So, two massages in a couple's room. In a couple's room. <laughs> Which is even better because it will be in the same room. Um, so, today, massages, and then we're going to go try a new place. The plan is a new place called the Sunflower Cafe but we may change our minds as well at the end. It's about 8.30. I don't know why this air condition's on, Taryn. Candace showed up on time. Turn yours up. She's cold. I'm hot because I just got out of the shower. Let me turn hers up for her. That's how you turn it up. Anyway, we're going to get massages. Uh, my face is incredible. I'm so very happy. I did bring a couple of little like disposable towels to put for when you lay on your face so that I don't have to touch the little mat thingy, so. That's it. Now Candace was gonna vlog, right? Yeah. What are you gonna vlog about? The day. About what we're doing today? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see y'all when we get to the massage place. Go ahead and vlog on your phone, just so we can get like a inception. What's the matter with you? There's a lot here. Oh yeah, well today. What's wrong right now? That's what's wrong right now is that I can't eat, I can't have coffee. I already ate. I had a couple sips of coffee. It wasn't the kind that I like, so I didn't drink it all. Oh, we're just, we're going. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, my light's green. Ma'am. Hmm. We're fine. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. Good morning. Hello. We've made it to Massage Envy. Candace has gift cards. Candace has gifted me a gift card. So we're here for our one hour light tissue. Message. Our message. Our message. April, I'm, I'm here. Shanta. I Shanta? think that was her name. Shanta, we're here. Let's do this. For our couple's massage. <laughs> I just told Candace that I'm a talker. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Here's my OOTD. Uggs. Abercrombie leggings. This, you can't see it. This Under Armour sweatshirt. There's Candace's outfit. I don't even know if you can see us because I turned you around. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Not. Uh-uh. Who is Taryn Lausch? <laughs> We're done. I didn't select anything. Candace is doing it thoroughly. I just said, I'm let's just go. To be let's go. Be no, you're not. <laughs> oh. I need to run to the restroom. See, I told you. Restroom. Last two doors on the left. Restroom. Okay, we're gonna get our massages done. Let's go. That was incredible. Oh, I look tired. How are you feeling? Let's get in the light. I can't see anything. Come on here. Okay, let's get out of here. We're both hungry. We opted for Ruby Slipper Cafe because they're already open. We had to park kind of far and it started raining. So we've been running. I can't run in Uggs. My socks are coming down. I gotta pee. Oh my gosh, it's so cold and it's raining. Holy cow. Oh, Hi. Hi. At you, please. A look at the wallpaper in the bathroom. How fun. I think I'm gonna try a creamy vanilla iced coffee. That sounds pretty good. Candace was talking about the spiked latte. Nola style iced coffee. Oh, I guess it's, that's the one I might get. Because the regular one says whipped cream and nutmeg. I might just get the Nola style, but iced. I need to, oh, it says iced. Hello, <laughs> Nola style iced coffee. We also ordered some loaded tots to share. Let me just line up all my little 
Oh, I spilled that one. All my little drinks. Here, what were you saying? You wonder if what? Thank you. Oh, she got hers steamed, the NOLA style steamed. Let's try the coffee. Mm, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Thank you. Here's the tots. Chicken sandwich, no tomato or onion. I got the little side salad. These were incredible. And then Candace spotted somebody with beignets and said, can we get those too? What is it? I think it's French toast. The stuffed French toast? Maybe, we'll see what we get. But we're gonna start on this. Here they are. Can I trade with you? Are you done with the tots? Oh yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, nope, I'm good. Thank you. This is what she picked out. And you know, I'm gonna say good call. Good call. Pit stop at Walgreens so I can get some pain relief medicine. Candace also had to use the bathroom. I almost packed mine at home and then I thought, no, Candace will have some. She didn't bring it. Oh, every time I see this commercial, I think of myself. Okay, what do we want to get? Advil, ibuprofen, Excedrin, $15.99. Listen, I just need like a little something small. Is this the way to go? It's $3. Ibuprofen. I need to ask Candace because I just need it for cramps. All right, we're going with this one. She had to go to the bathroom and I could not tell you where that bathroom is. She walked that way and then she walked back this way. But I don't know where the actual restroom is. I wonder if it's in one of these little doors. Wouldn't they? Oh, <laughs> restrooms. Oh, I can't take this in here. Let's just put it here. You know what? I need some more lotion. It's the Gold Bond Crepe. Oh, but they don't have it. Ooh, eczema really? No, we're not doing that. We're not buying anything that we don't know we know. We know that we like. Next stop is Torrid. We both have our cute little red bags. Remember, we thought they were so cute walking out? Yeah, they're so cute. They are cute, but it's kind of annoying for a $7 shirt to have to come back to the mall. We're only doing it today because we're down this way. We don't live, well, Candace don't live nowhere near me, but this is kind of far from where I live, so. Let's switch these out. And just like that, we're done. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Do we want to do anything else in the mall? Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess while we're here. I guess so. I mean, we might as well look around. We may as well. We've been coming to the mall a lot lately for videos. Well, it's, what do we have here? We have and nothing. Then, right. This is all we got. Look at this. Look at this. Air, at Air Postal. I almost said Air Postal. I don't think I can fit them. No, I think it's like juniors. They got cute. Look at these. Hold on. For your little kid. She would like these. Okay, well, I don't have oh, it's a skirt. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We stopped into this store, Versona. I did a video a long time ago. They don't carry plus size. I literally thought these were a tee. I was like, oh my gosh, I need these. A tee for Taryn. It's a cross. That's rain, y'all. It is pouring outside. No, this is our mall, by the way. It used to be way better, I'll be honest. They don't really have a ton of good stuff, but. Oh, look, there's Candace. She just filmed a video there. We've made it to Target. I'm here for the black chunky sandals. I talked about them in my Target's All in Motion brand video that I just did. And so many of y'all said, go back for the sandals. I was gonna order them online for pickup because that's just easier, but they're the Wild Fable brand and I don't own any shoes from that brand and I wasn't sure how they fit. So while I'm here too, I think I'm gonna grab a couple things for dinner. I need to go grocery shopping, but nobody wants to do that. So maybe we'll just grab the things we need from here. We should have wore these today. Do we need this? Self Love Club. Love yourself first. They look soft. I think we need this. <gasps> that is so soft. What's the brand? Something Threads. <laughs> Grayson Threads. Candace, we should have bought these and wore them today. Why do we, do we really need more sweatshirts? You're right. I was just saying how my drawer is so full, but. But it's so cute. It. Y'all, they're redoing the plus size section. I can see them over there. I'll have to add a new video like to my list once everything's done. This is gonna be how comfortable. This is the large. Yeah, I like it. It's what, 22? What, what did you say? 22.99. 22.99. 20, 21.99. 22 bucks. We're gonna put it in the buggy and I'm gonna walk around with it while I think about it. Here they are, Candace. How do you feel about these? They look familiar. Well, They're fine. I mean, those are the other ones that I have that I wear all the time. You love them? I love them. Why? Tell me why. Because they're chunky black sandals. That's it? Well, I wear my black ones all the all the time. We know this. And these are chunky, so these are a little bit more trendy. So you need trendy. 
chunky. Yeah. I'm just doing them. Why are you giving me a hard time? They're cute, actually. The nan is absolutely perfect, y'all. Hold on, let me get my so food in cute. this one. I mean, they're comfy. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh. How do we feel? We like them? We like them. They're 20 bucks. $20. Okay, look at them like this. Okay. Okay, go. Sold. Sold? Yeah. Okay, sold. We love them. I wouldn't do you dirty like that. I appreciate you. Sold. Those look too big. They're nine. What are you talking about? Oh, the nine. These black ones fit you though? Yeah. I don't know, they look big. Yeah, try the eight. Yeah, those look better to me. Did these look too big for me? No. I didn't think so either. <gasps> it matches your sweatshirt. I know, I already thought about and it. And you could wear it with leggings. I don't need your help. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to rein it in. I'm getting these for show. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. It's about 10.05. That's the last time I looked at the clock. Am I right? You're looking at the time. I think it's over here. Um, all right, this video is long already. However, I'm getting ready to film some other hauls, and I thought that maybe we could try a few of the products that we purchased together. So we'll probably do this, the bronzer, the highlight, the setting powder, one of these. I bought the Shape Tape Creamy Concealer, but also the Shape Tape Glow Wand. As far as mascara, I probably won't use this one because I just bought, as I mentioned, this Better Than Sex Waterproof. So let me do my foundation real quick. And then we will come back and go in with this Physicians Formula Liquid Bronzer. I just used this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Soft Beige. It's a little bit, like in person, it doesn't look, like it doesn't look as, like it looks like the right color. Why am I having a brain fart? <laughs> Today's the first day that I've been able to wear makeup since microneedling. I did my normal skincare this morning. I felt so good. I put sunblock on. I need to go grocery shopping, like all those things, but we're not doing that. We're just going to get ready because again, this video is so long. All right. Physician's formula, butter, glow, oh, liquid bronzer. Oh, it's a nice package. That's what it looks like. The shade is just bronze. Oh, okay. That's what it looks like. Do we use a brush? Yes. I have this. I don't even know. Eco tools is the brand. Oh, I put it way too low right there. I'm scared that it's not gonna blend. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna go in. I don't know, let's do it with just this instead of the brush. I like that better. Okay, so maybe that's the way to go. Let's do a little bit up here. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought I just got that in my hair. That's how dark it is. On my hand. Look how light. We're going to stop with this. Because I think that that is decent. I'm going to wipe this off my hand. And then go in with... I have a couple of different liquid or like cream blushes already. This is probably my favorite from Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Believe. And then I have this one in Joy, but it's more of like a summer shade to me. And then I also have this Pixie blush in Ruby. Again, very summery. So I think we're gonna go in with this one and then we'll do highlight. I forgot the concealer. That was like the whole point. Okay, let me just blend this little blush in. I can't believe I did that. I knew there was something I was missing because I thought, wait a minute, once I set this, and then I just use the side that I blended my foundation in. Okay, let's do the Shape Tape Creamy Ultra Creamy Concealer in the shade Light Medium Sand 275. Probably should throw my other one away. I couldn't tell, I've had it for so long. Let's use the other side of this. We may have to go in a little bit with maybe some more blush. Ooh, I shouldn't have put it on that side so that we could see. So far, so good. Do we do liquid highlight or do we set first? Or the cream, let's do this highlight. Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, it rubs some of my makeup off. Hmm. 
can't really see that. Okay, that one might be a dud. I mean, it's barely there. And I forgot my primer, y'all. I gotta get it together. Let's do setting spray or setting powder. I I know I mentioned when I bought this, I hear so many people for years talk about this, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder Ultra Blur, and I've never tried it. I bought the mini just so we can figure out if this is something that we like. And then we'll take the side that we did the concealer with. And set. Let's let that sit. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow, mask, like the rest of my makeup, and then we'll come back and wipe this off. We're back to wipe off. I just have this clean brush. I actually cleaned them with that Eco Tools. We got this last vlog, I think. I really. We are just wiping away. I still need to put on like lower mascara. I think I am going to add some hi extra highlight. I have this Fenty Beauty powder highlight that I like so much better than this one. So I'll probably take that one back. This I do like. We'll see how flashback and stuff is today while I work. This, I don't know. I kind of just like the powder version better. And I also like the Tarte Sculpt Tape is what it's called actually better. This one's just a lot more money than this, especially like look at the amount of product you get but I do like that Tarte one better. I also love this LA Colors blush from Dollar Tree. I just gonna add a little bit because once I'm on camera, I feel like the blush sort of, like the camera, the lights, all that stuff sort of washes me out a little bit. Yeah, we like that. And then I'm gonna go back in, just kind of blend it. I'm filming actually a an Amazon sets video. All right, that's a wrap. I need to end this video here so that I can edit you. I can work for the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, a little bit of a self-care vlog next week. I'm getting my hair done, so that's exciting. We had a bit of a catastrophe overnight last night. When there's that, I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.